I have no idea how long the thing's been off. That's a really sensitive button on this thing. Uh, I'm just making the turn that takes us around to the lighthouse. We're about uh, seven eighths of the way to the end of the spit. I'll leave it on. We'll take the road back. Maybe we'll get a complete uh, video ride of this ride. It's one of the problems with this camera. Two of them are it eats batteries and uh, the on button protrudes and uh, you can accidentally turn it off very easily. Let's hope I don't do that right now as I mount it on my head here. Alright, here we go. Ah, I wonder how long it's been off. So oh, there's the lighthouse. See there's a access for maintenance personnel road that runs up there about a 30 degree angle. Uh, yeah, no way around. Look at this. No way to get around. So I'm taking the road around here, instead of going up that maintenance road, to get to the beach that is at the tip of this park. And, uh, in that direction, you can see the spit curves out there, and about, uh, I don't know, 500 meters from that tip right there is the demolition spot where the police Blow stuff up. So it says the Tommy Thompson Park maps. hitting rocks. Got some good wave here. Good waves here. Looks like the city is dumping. Dumping old uh, concrete telephone poles here. that rebar but all the same reclaiming steel is kind of important I'd say takes a lot of energy to make it so I'm gonna hoof it up this hill here looks like there's some people up there hanging out what do we do we uh, go up there get away from your parents smoke a joint Break the windows, something to do. Well, maybe I'll let those guys be, actually. 
there's lots of spaces to go. I'm going to go around back the uh, around the other side, the north side of the, the lighthouse. It's a little more pleasant to ride over this side. Uh, I don't know what those guys are doing, but they're hanging there, so we'll let them be. Quite the swell that wind is kicking up. A foot and a half, half a meter. So, uh, the quick ride home with the 17 click wind behind me. I can uh, get up to 17 clicks on my bike here and have a zero wind. Or I can kick it up to 30, 25, 30 clicks with the wind assist. See if I can find some snakes. Just kidding. I don't want to. I don't want to run over any snakes, but I, I don't see any. A lot of people out here for snakes to be basking. They should probably find themselves a basking spot in here. You know, like a big rock, a great big piece of the Canadian Shield could be dropped here for snakes to bask off the road. You know, build up some habitat so they don't get run over. And with all the traffic we're going to see on this road as this truck opens up, I don't think we're going to need speed bumps. So here we go. Go home. Go home fast. Now the only problem with that plan is these things. Yikes! So I lifted the front wheel up over there and all my only my back wheel hit going about 20 clicks. It uh, didn't set up a wave in my body that uh, was jarring, so that, that's how the speedsters are doing it. They're hopping. I'll say I'm going about 20, 22 clicks here. Back wheel hit. Still have my tape measure. Yay! pretty jarring for your back wheel. I have aluminum lightweight rims. It's the only way to go. Easy to get going, easy to stop. Lightweight rims are a, a turbine full of energy. Your bike rims are that. Yikes. That hurt. And uh, so getting them going and stopping them are the, are the two big energy uses. I'm not in, you know, in that, in, in that braking causes heat. But for a cyclist to get going, you've got to transmit energy into that turbine, your wheels. So you want to have lightweight wheels. And these speed bumps are probably going to warp my wheels. If I keep going at this speed over them. So we don't like it. We don't like it at all. I'm gonna slow down now. And then speed up. So I'm using the park not as a bird watcher or a, you know, a, taking in the scenery. I'm using it as a, you know, as an exercise. All right, I'm, I think it's a 5.5 kilometer out and 5.5 back. That's really good for your health. 10, 11 kilometer run every day or something. You know, even if I'm taking it easy, uh, going uh, 10 to 15 clicks an hour. Those bumps are jarring. Hello guys, you've taken the other side of the road, eh? Cool.
ducks. Hello, ducks. Change gears, oh no, there we go. I got a 22 degree hill here. And we'll get out to the road proper here. There it is. So, we're heading north east now along the main spur road of the Tommy Thompson Park, Leslie Spit with the wind behind we'll be going northeast in a second just around this corner getting the full advantage of the wind now and back up to speed again Cycling. I love it that there's no cars and there's no stoplights and you know you're you're I grew up in the country and this is just the just exactly what it would be like going along a concession road except there's no 60 mile an hour cars going by you every once in a while but uh, that's what it feels like out here and those speed bumps big they bring a, a little bit of the What's the right word? They, they bring a little bit of the city out here to the wilderness. And all those bumps are so inconsiderate. People won't race through people's neighborhoods. So I guess the conservation authority would say, well, this is the the animals that we built habitats for, this is their neighborhood. So it's don't race through it. Well, I don't know if 15 clicks is really racing. It's a pleasurable ride on a beautiful stretch of road without any cars or, you know, danger. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't feel my life is threatened on this road. As soon as I get onto Leslie though, that all changes. So let's get rid of these speed bumps and we'll post signs. Maybe 15 kilometers an hour is a, a nice accommodation for everybody involved. And if you see a snake basking on the road, you know, avoid it. There, see, I didn't hear those guys, they said fucking speed bumps, that's all I heard. The cyclists do not like it. All right, so we're about halfway back to Leslie and Dunwin. The bird sanctuary there, I think that's about halfway. Maybe a third. So we got one third to go, I think. Coming to my back, it seems to be flying by faster than the other way around. 